let's let's change the subject a little bit and let's go to wooden cooling towers. If you anybody says, do we have any wooden cooling towers yet? Oh yes, there's many wooden cooling towers, even new ones being put in. Usually the new cooling towers, maybe of wood, the structural members, sometimes internally or plastic, but the structural members can actually be treated wood. This treated wood is usually uh, Douglas fir. Uh, we don't use redwood that often, though it is available. Redwood is a, has a preservative entirely through the entire 4x4 four four or that particular wooden section uh, that you have in a cooling tower, while Douglas fir does not have any protection whatsoever. So there is a preservative that's utilized to, to literally try to preserve that wood against biological attack, a fungus attack. That's usually copper, arsenic, and chromate. Uh, usually arsenic is not used as much today as copper chromate, uh, but the biggest problem with a new cooling tower is once you, once you build that particular cooling tower and start up that uh, water over the top of the tower, you should not circulate that tower water through the mild steel piping of your system. The reason why is because you get copper leaching, plating out on the mild steel, it sets up galvanic corrosion that will give you pitting attack and failure on the carbon steel piping. I've actually seen as high as 100 ppm of copper in the circulating water from a brand new cooling tower that was a preservative treated with a copper arsenic chromate solution. So it's not always held in that particular wood. It's some of it's leached out quite readily. A number of it, of course, stays there for preserving the, uh, the wood, the integrity of the wood against fungus attack. Uh, how do we treat this type of thing? The solution is uh, you must use a copper corrosion inhibitor uh, of, uh, say, as high as 50 to 100 ppm. You should not circulate this copper-laden water through your piping. You should bypass it, put it back over the top of the tower, and then utilize the azole, the copper inhibitor, to, to really tie up that copper and fix some of the preservative in the wood, which in turn will give you, of course, longer life expectancy of the wood by holding it in there.